Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we're covering some more details on the brand new Warzone 2.0. Call of Duty released another blog post again on September the 15th that I really want to take a closer look at because it has some interesting details. We already covered the map in the last video if you haven't seen it. Be sure to check it out on the channel. But we got some initial intel, swimming and aquatic combat. Expect combat across the land, sea and air as the environment expands to include rivers, lakes, parts of the ocean and more waterlogged locations. This presents an all new set of challenges and opportunities for combat, many of which were explored within the Modern Warfare 2 presentation at Call of Duty Next. With a vast map the size of El Mastra, clandestine swimming up river tributaries, underwater ambushes and exploration as well as quicker movement courtesy of the HRIB or armored patrol boat is all possible expanding your combat options considerably using the tactics you're learning during modern warfare 2 ground war combat I'm sorry if I'm butchering some of these words they, they, they're too advanced <laughs> now this one caught my interest Initial intel over a dozen unique vehicles. And then we get, got a picture of, I guess, the new version of the Armored Jeep. With combat across Modern Warfare 2, Ground War, and Call of Duty Warzone 2.0, you'll have the chance to pilot, drive, or steer over a dozen new vehicles, and many of them are accessible on the Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 map. El Masra. Naturally, a guide to vehicles showcases the vehicles in readiness for their use during the open beta. About the tactical vehicle, UTV, light tank, heavy chopper, and rigged inflatable boat, just to name a few. What's more, depending on the vehicle you're commandeering, you can customize it with a skin, including the free floored vehicle skin you can unlock during the open beta. In addition, expect to climb or drop onto vehicles, damage tires and doors, shoot out windows and be on the lookout for gasoline as every vehicle, including boats and helicopters, gradually runs out of fuel. That's interesting. So each vehicle now has fuel, so you can't just keep driving around the same vehicle all over and over and over throughout the entire match. It's going to run out of fuel eventually. But not only that, you'll be able to, as it says, damage things like tires and doors. So now if you're shooting a vehicle, you're not only damaging it, but you can aim for the tires to maybe try and, well, hinder their movement and stuff like that. That's really awesome. You'll then need to weigh up the advantages of keeping a vehicle running and extending its longevity by tactics tactically locating and occupying a local gas station or searching for the gas canister loot. While vehicle tires can be reinflated anywhere in the war zone, gas stations are smaller points of interest but are likely to be occupied as they allow vehicle repairs to be made and ambushes by enemy teams. So watch your sex. Naturally, if you're using the rapid and almost silent redacted EV as your method of transportation, a different course of refueling action, action is required. Well, that's interesting. All right, initial intel, the shop, as well as a new and impressive array of ground loot and adjustments on how to access and store them. One of the biggest innovations is the expanding yet streamlining of your purchases within a match. This comes courtesy of the shop. These enhanced buy stations serve locations to buy and upgrade equipment and weapons, including the custom weapons you created before dropping in. Here's some actions you can complete at the shop. Squad mate buy back just like in Call of Duty Warzone, you are able to buy back a teammate after they have been taken down either in combat or fail to return from the all new gulag. So we do have a gulag in the new Warzone. Buy gear, just like the function of the original buy station, you could purchase equipment such as gas masks, kill streaks, armor and more. Limited equipment, some items are likely to be limited in number and once purchased, they're gone from the shop. Okay, that's really interesting. Buy weapon. Prior to a match, your main preparation is focused on creating a number of custom weapons for your next match in El Masra. You purchase these custom weapons from here. Note this takes the place of a full loadout your primary, secondary, tactical, and lethal, as well as perks. Custom weapons are constructed in the gunsmith and then bought here. They take up your weapon slots. Tacticals and lethals are very common ground loot. Perks will not be available in Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 at launch. So now instead of buying a loadout, you're basically buying your weapons directly from the shop. At least that's how I'm understanding this. All right, circles collapse. All right, so we got an image here. So one safe zone splits into multiple circles. What? Match continues, circles reduce in size, 
circles, reconvert into a single safe zone. Okay, so before we just used to have one big circle and one safe zone, but now multiple safe zones are created. So basically split into three areas so that they are being narrowed down and then eventually those are narrowed down into one singular circle. So those three areas converge on one. A choking storm gradually envelops the Elmastra landscape. You may be familiar with the encroaching wall of vapor from your time in Verdansk and Coldera. This time, however, expect variation within the circle collapse. One possible occurrence may be the result of extreme weather pattern anomalies resulting in the safe zone splitting into multiple circles throughout a match that reconverge into a single safe zone as the match gets closer to the final circle. Okay, so it could happen. Ooh, finally, okay, I've been waiting for this. The Gulag, some more information on this. This isn't your commanding officer's Gulag. This is a live fire training complex as well as a prison where foes need to be neutralized and sometimes Titled with? You're dropped into a multi-level arena with only your fists and a plan to loot, shoot and win a decisive 2v2 battle before you're allowed back into the big map for a second chance at victory. Optionally, your Gulag combat can include searching for an AI combatant known as the Jailer, dropping him and using his key as the means of escape. Don't forget to loot as you go, that gear comes with you if you win. Okay, so the way I'm understanding this is instead of the old gulag where you dropped in and then you got a random weapon, now you actually have to loot for your weapon and that looted gun you then get back with you, but you need to do it in a 2v2. Or as an alternative, you can drop the jailer and use his key to escape so you can escape the gulag without having to fight, I guess, maybe? This is going to be really interesting to experience. Ah, okay, initial intel, AI combatants and strongholds. There are more than human operators active within the El Masra war zone. This is a living, breathing world with a number of AI combatants ready to defend their patch of land, all integrated into the fabric of the world. If you choose to engage AI combatants, expect a different type of firefight compared to player versus player. If you're concerned that AI combatants are going to get in the way between you and your W, don't be. It's entirely your choice to engage the non-player combatants scattered across the map or not to engage them. AI won't actively pursue you or your squad. You can choose never to interact with them. AI combatants have a variety of lethality levels and behaviors and are usually encountered in specific areas of the map. While they may defend their territory like a Call of Duty League pro, they won't seek out combat. Conversely, if you're ready to take on any combatant you see, there are locations with a concentration of enemies dotted around the map where you're guaranteed to have your combat battle tested. Known as strongholds, expect locked doors and a high density of AI combatants with a variety of innovative features to their responses depending on your tactics. Conquer a stronghold and expect impressive loot, including an item that allows you to purchase one of your customized gunsmith weapons at the shop for free. Okay, so that's what it was talking about before in the Gulag, where I guess if you down one of these AIs, you might have the chance of getting a key that can then get you out of the Gulag. But this is very interesting. So the AI is going to occupy a part of the map. That's going to be... Very interesting. DMC, the most closely guarded leak-proof secret in Call of Duty history can finally be revealed. There's a special extraction mode coming to Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. Known as DMC, this is a passion project for the teams at Infinity Ward and across the contributing studios, and the main premise is about choosing your own experience within the Warzone, working socially if you wish, and collecting gear to keep in your Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 inventory and utilize from match to match. We'll have much more to share about the host of new challenges, bounties, gameplay features and more when DMC drops alongside Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. That's interesting. Alright, and as a final note, the Ricochet Anti-Cheat, including its PC kernel level driver, will be active on day one for both Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. All right, future editing being here, I just edited this video and apparently I didn't record an outro for it. I just stopped the recording. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> so I'm here to do past me's job and make an outro, but before I do that, I do want to say that this recording is a little bit old. That blog post was from September 15th and I'm now recording this on October the 3rd. So it's a bit late, but the information is still relevant as we haven't gotten a follow-up just yet. But regardless, in conclusion, I'm very excited. A lot of new features and changes. It's going to be quite different, I think, from our current war zone, and I'm very excited for it. So with that said, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a like and comment down below what you think of these new features. I'm very excited for all of them. And actually, let me know your favorite one down below in the comments. Also, make sure you subscribe and enable notifications. I'll be streaming and making videos about the new war zone and Modern Warfare 2. Bunch of exciting stuff coming in the future. 
don't miss it. But with that, like I said, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.